We'll see which map it's gonna be. It's like it is gonna be the village. Whichever so. one it is, this is another good Farah map as well. Which neither of these teams have like luck demon or you know levels of Farah experts, but we're already seeing one Farah hover. And... We have seen it out of Jock. Uh, yeah. Jock filling in here. Or not filling in, sorry. <laughs> He's filling in by picking his alt account. Yeah. Bittersteel actually not showing the far off, showing the Brigitte. Yeah. This is interesting. Very, They're looking to... Very run, interesting. Run that tank They're running the tank heavy composition with the Junkrat. Yeah. Very, stand on the point. Yeah, very ground-based comp in a tournament that has been dominated by Farah players, so... Yeah, and of course on the other goes. side... On the other side here, we've got BBQ on the May. BBQ, of course, a master of that May. This point in particular, probably the most commonly seen May point in the game. It's so good because there's only two entrances to the point and you can just block one of them off entirely. Mm -hmm. No payload for old men are going the the Mercy Brig comp, which you see a lot of. Hmm, you see a lot of when people are playing what they're comfortable with, but it's just not a ton of heals. So we'll see how it goes. Ooh. Bainlin goes in aggressively, but is going to get walled off. So both Reinhardts will go down, but Emulator actually gets picked, and Andreas going for the res, but is not safe. And so looks like. The kills are going to come through for Goat C9s, and they should be able to get this capture ticking up immediately. A very aggressive play there. Um, out of Baneling. Does get walled off, but Fingers got caught on the other side of the wall as well. That's mm -hmm. the problem. We'll see. In the same way, they're with, playing low ground with this Junkrat comp, which is maybe not where exactly where you want to be, but... Bainland goes in aggressively again, but will it get stunned? A Bitter does get the kill on the emulator. And the hammer comes out from Bainling. Always been such an aggressive Reinhardt player. Yeah, yeah. Swing I'm... that hammer and get that Earth Shatter charged up. Yeah, anyone who has played enough scrims... Um, with us in Overkill, we'll know a team that knows how to play around Baneling's Reinhardt is absolutely terrifying. And they seem to be doing it well right here. But the thing is... Oh! Someone's oh, on the point. There's a, there's a back out coming out. There's two, two of them there, actually. Oh. But... Oh, the bait! <laughs> Jack takes out Baneling! Oh, I don't know, though. Emulator. A Hail Mary there with only 55% completion. Maybe if that's uh, like 90 or something, I'd support that a bit more, but... Not quite able to get the capture fast enough. <laughs> Look at this. They have... Okay, so the switch onto the Hanzo. So that might explain that uh, play yeah, there. Yeah, do it. Yeah, he just and wanted they to do it. have yeah. all five other ultimates on the board. Grav comes out. Bainling back to the follow up. We get nothing out of that grab at all. BBQ coming in with the freeze. Counter grab. Oh, but the shatter from fingers and the mail. That's a huge May wall there. Actually carries them out of the grab. But aren't they going to be able yeah. to get any kills? FTL going to touch the point. They're actually going to come around to the point and they're walled off and they flip it because of the wall. But how long is this going to last? Everyone's still alive. Side of Goat C9s. And it's just going to be a matter of time here. They are going to flip it back. Yeah. So, Goat C9s will take this first point. Yeah, I've seen May players do that too in my own scrims. Where you get grabbed and you just kind of wall your team up out of safety. I'm not totally sure if it was intentional or not by BBQ, but it's a legitimate play. So props to him if it was thought out by him. It's a big play, for sure. But just, uh, they did not get anything out of the Graviton at all, and they really needed to get something. Mm -hmm. We will see... 
It's like fingers showing that Orisa on this point. Of course, so easy to get these environmental kills on this yeah. huge pit here on the Sanctum. Bitter Steel will graze his fingers over that Bastion, but no. he is going on the Widowmaker, Widow. actually, which is not a hero he's particularly known for. But we'll this is going to be difficult against that Orisa. Yeah. He's going to be able to find any shots. Uh, no payload. Well, I don't know. If they lay in so much damage, they're yeah, not going to be able to they, keep that shield up. They have so much shield spam with the Junkrat and the Roadhog. This is a really good team comp, actually. But they are actually going to get pushed back. Oh, Bitter does get the kill on the emulator. Fingers going onto the point anyway. How long is this going to last? He's fortified. And does that take out Baneling? And that's not going to be able to be res. That's within the Orisa shield. Mercy going to go down as well. Oh! Hugin gets the pull on the BBQ. That was, that was the culmination of a very long sequence between those two Roadhogs oh. that Hugin finally got the better of. Bitter Steel goes off the map somehow. And Ghost C9 is still trying to engage here, but Jock is laying in those Ferro rockets, forcing them back. Yeah, I didn't see, but um, I know I've heard my friends who play Widowmaker complain quite a bit about that grapple shot being buggy sometimes. So maybe he got hit by that at an inopportune moment. Can be tricky to go around the outside. Of the oh, no, he actually switches onto the Farah. Oh, there you and go. Then Maybe there's some miscommunication there when Bitter was resetting. Jock hits the rocket onto Bitter. Gets two, not a kill. But the Barrage gonna take out everyone on the ground. Sound barrier just a little late there. But it is actually getting the kills, so it's a yeah. four on three. Bitter though taken out, and Andreas with the Coalescence just to clean up. Stabilize this point. Over 50%. But no payload can't be too aggressive. They're still down players. Halffield been sitting very safe here in the back line, laying out those discords, mm -hmm. those Zen orbs. So Valkyrie gonna be pop oh. oh! Jack knocks Baneling into the pit! Bitter now on the soldier. Is he gonna be able to do anything at all? Trip tire comes out, doesn't get any kills, and Hugin goes down as well. Now 83%. Goats may want to back off here and see if they can get another fight, but they're stuck in this trapping. bottom room. Yeah. Bellicious, not able to get the boop. And Bailing is back, but can he do anything? He's getting pressured by BBQ. He has that hammer. Let's watch him. Soundberry comes out. Oh. oh, he lost the hammer. All the kills going the way of no payload. So it's just going to be Bitter Steel and Hugin. Transcendent's going to come out. Oh! <laughs> two knocked off by Emulator! That's going to be the point right there. Valicious, the only one alive, will fall. And we're going to the shrine to decide this one. No payload for old men positioned so well there after they took the point in the initial fight. They didn't try to get too aggressive, no. Yeah, that's why, um, that's one of the reasons why Widowmaker is so strong in that map, because it's so easy to counter pretty much any push that the attacking team can dream up with a good enough rotation. There's so many little roots around there, and so a uh, Widowmaker can really cut that off and, like, punish them as they're moving and that kind of stuff. This gives you a lot of options that you don't otherwise have. They played that really defensively. Mm -hmm. They were able to get the point, and look at this, Bitter still. Showing the Bastion, is this real? Looks like oh, he's gonna real, go baby. with it. Here we go. So this should be interesting. Let's see, they're gonna run with the Lucio onto the point, get that Bastion set up. No payloads, not gonna be expecting this. Gonna burn down that Rhine Shield immediately. But he's getting pressured by that Fire Rockets. Oh, Fingers gets knocked all the way up on the <laughs> pillar. <laughs> He's gonna fall. Baneling does go down, so no protection for this Bastion. The issue, though, is they can't get in the door. Hot. They can't get in the door. The Bastion's covering it. And now they gotta get the damage onto the Bastion and stop him. He's just got free shots. 
They're doing this without a great Bastion protection comp either. They don't have Brig, they don't have Diva. A lot of this actually comes down to Wit, actually, to heal for this Bastion on the Junkrat. Oh, Baneling goes down. Bitter pops the ult. Oh! The rocket Barrage, though, onto the point. Gonna take out Delicious. Coalescence out of Andres, <laughs> and Bitter blows himself up with his own rocket. So, oh, the Rip Tire is gonna come out from Witch, and actually two kills! So this is actually looking good for Goat C9s. Bitter Steel well, he comes out, but Emulator gets charged! Bitter Steel's confirmed as a coward, he has switched to this McCree, but they might win anyway. Absolutely shameful, but they will win the fight. Get up to 50% here. Mouse. <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever seen a Bastion comp on this point of Nepal. Obviously, you think of Village, which is the first map that we've played, which has come to be known as something of a freestyle map in Overwatch League. But this map's pretty standard death ball, so... So now, without that Bastion, no payload gonna have a much better chance of actually touching the point. The emulator coming out on the flank, but going to back up. Jack trying to shoot those rockets in from the side. Pressure Bitter off the point. Shatter's gonna be blocked, and Fingers hits his own Shatter. Gets Bitter. We see the sound barrier from Valicious, but two kills already in. Whole Hog from BBQ. That field does go down, but looks like the kill's coming through for no payload. Just a few left from the Goat C9s, but it is going to get up to 99%. Uh, Witch just did go for another hero Riptire like her last one, but. Which went for the Riptire, but was immediately killed, so we'll yeah. lose it, unfortunately. Just, just gets dropped, which messes with their alt economy for trying to retake this a little bit. But they, they, did, they got it to 99%, they will have time to yeah. get more Riptires for sure. Probably have. Usually you have about three fights when you're at 99-0 to retake it before you throw. So we'll see if they can do that. Oh, fingers get charged with the stun! One kill on both sides here. Andreas with the Coalescence and the Rally. Gonna keep everyone alive. Coalescence gonna do all the damage. Three kills there. Of course we know what Moira is for. Not for healing. Mm-hmm. So, good fight there. They do use two ultimates, but they get the armor onto Aftiel, onto Andreas. Bitter Steel now on that Farah. His opposite number, Jock, has his barrage. He's... they're gonna have to be very careful about coming in. So, he comes out. Hammer from Jock's both sides. Right. Jock with the barrage. One kill, two kills on both sides. Oh man, got. Oop. Oh. Hold on. Got a fake fight on the point here. Fingers with the charge. BBQ pushing everyone off the point. Riptire comes out from Witch. This is so back and forth. 2 DPS and a support here against the world. Again, Ghost C9 can't get on tank, the point. We'll see how it goes. Or two supports in a tank, I should say. Bitter on that far, trying to pressure Jock out of the air. Andreas with the coalescence. Witch goes down. Transcendence used. But the res comes on to Witch. Sound barrier now. Baneling gets the charge. Graviton and the barrage. Bitter gets all the kills, and looks like Ghost C9s are going to clean up here get the team kill and they will get the map good play from goat c9s they are finally able to take it yeah yeah really really fun opening map there they've they've now won against baneling they've won with baneling and they just look really really strong going into the playoffs here Lucio always gets play of the game, of course. Of course. That was not the Lucio in question, but Valicious actually played, uh, especially the last round, but the whole game very, very well on that Lucio, I thought.
Oh no. <laughs> I'm What's really happening? Sorry about that. Uh, oh, I no. was switching those titles between matches and I thought I hit the start streaming button again and apparently I didn't actually hit it. Oh no! So oh, I just no. missed that map. But uh, Charnik, I believe, is also recording a flyover version of it, so it's still going to be recorded, but I'm terribly sorry about that. I'm going back to mute now in oh. shame. Oh dear. Well, let we me know it. when it's on. We did it, fam. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi, the everyone. Ma the match is about to start. Oh, well, we had a map. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Goat C9s did get the win on Nepal. Just barely went down. They did. To it was two to one, ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Uh, we're gonna try and get that video up for you guys as soon as we can. Yeah, Tharnik is recording a third-person perspective uh, spectator cam of that, so we will have a VOD of it. Don't worry about that. But okay, so looks like. Again, Goat C9s did get the win. So no payload for old men. We'll get the map choice here. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, I was told a little bit by the time I was found out that the stream wasn't working. Uh, we were in the middle of a fight. And I couldn't really stop it there. It looks like we should be good here. All right, so no payload for old men has the map. They're picking Volskaya. Interesting pick. We haven't seen a 2CP. Yeah. All the teams in the tournament so far have been certified cowards and have not picked a single 2CP so far. Volskaya is... The pick. And we are going to see. Well, you know, BBQ playing that May mm -hmm. can be so difficult to get through that. Yep. All right. So uh, Goat C9s have elected to flip the sides. They are going to attack first. So, those C9s moving on to the red team, no payload on to the blue team. Okay. So, you know, see, what do you think we're going to see on Volskaya? Obviously, BBQ with that May, we yeah, got to think May, on the defense. May is very strong. I think, um, I'm not sure. This isn't a map that particularly favors any one style of play. So we'll have to see what these teams are comfortable with, what they want to run here. All right, just waiting for teams to ready up. Yeah, absolutely. We haven't seen, we haven't seen this type of map at all in the tournament. So. Yeah, that's also true. Of course, no payload now. Their back's against the wall. They need this map yep. to stay alive in the tournament. I was about to say, I also see a lot of members of the world is a beautiful place and I am no longer afraid to feed. I am saying their full name because it's the only time I'll ever say it in this broadcast. Um, they are watching in the Owl Barn right now, hoping that Goat C9s can pick up another one here. Send them to play against them next week. 
All right, so teams are ready. And we're going to Volskaya. Traveling to Volskaya Industries. All right, so heading into Volskaya. Ooh, interesting here. BBQ. Oh, well, it is early, but BBQ I'll... not showing the May, showing the Ana on this defense. You know what? 2CP is very strong for Torbjorn, and Baneling is nothing if not known for that hero. So they're attacking first, but you know, we may see that later on. Doc is hovering his one of his best heroes, uh, Hanzo. Emulator's hovering one of his best heroes, Farah. Absolutely. See that long range damage? A lot of, actually, Could, uh, a, yeah. actually a lot of comfort them picks them. on both sides here. I'm sorry to interrupt, but see Bitter Steel and Witch on, Bitter, on Genji and Junkrat especially, <laughs> um, respectively. You see these, the uh, the Ana, the Hanzo, the at all means basically one thing. They don't want that. They don't want the Goat C9 to be able to get through. They want to hold very aggressively and shoot out that long range damage. But Goat C9 is showing the dive comp with the Junkrat Genji. Let's see, are they going to be able to just get through this? So, Bitter Steel on that Genji. He, in fact, even switched his, himself to the green in Discord. Oh, big anti onto Baneling. But BBQ gets taken down immediately. Baneling actually going to survive. So the pick's coming through. One kill onto Baneling, but probably not going to be enough. Everyone going down. Rez has come through. The F kill trying to stall as long as possible. First push is going to be the first capture for Goat C9. Yeah, very clean, very clean dive by them. Pick off that support and just keep going. That's why dive has been so strong for so long and overlap. So Andrea is going to change onto the Brigitte on the defense here. Yep. Baneling going in aggressively. That dive and they're already here. The problem is, are they going to have enough healing? The Riptire comes out from Witch already. Get three! That's huge! Another kill. And that's going to be everyone but Emulator. Emulator drops the Rocket Barrage, but will fall. The team kill, and that's going to be it. Six and a half minutes remaining. That was a stunner from Goat C9s. Pretty amazing. Payload, payload for old men are really against the wall now. Let's see how they recover from that. Wow, they just never really had a chance to get set up on the defense. Even they got the swaps in, but yeah, Baneling already diving onto them. Again, with the Brigitte did get the stun, but was not enough to get the kill. We'll see now. Yeah. Uh, Bitter Steel showing the Brigitte on the defense. Mm -hmm. Two tank, three supports, and the Junkrat out of which. Yeah, they um, you don't traditionally think of Junkrat as more of a dive hero. He more flourishes in that death ball kind of comp, but they did a really good job making use of Junkrat's abilities as well. They, um, like the chaos of the dive really benefited the Junkrat there to just spam and spam. And then he was able to hit that rip tire and just close in on three people who were hiding away from the dive off in the corner. All right, so we are indeed going to see 
the Brigitte, the Everyone's Zarya, the Reinhardt, and the Junkrat. On the defense here from Goat C9s. Game no on. payload for old men. They need both points here to stay alive in the tournament. Shung Jock on the Diva. So and... triple tank with the Brigitte yeah. as well. Yeah. Three this is three. Goat's Cop. This is bonafide 100% Goat's Cop that no payload for old men is going here. It's been a really, really strong cop at every level of play right now. And the problem is you're not allowed to call it goats comp when they're going up against the goats. That's true. I'm sorry. Very illegal. Oh, emulator gets hit by the trap and mine combo. So. Halo though, still trying to move in. Not that Lucio. Andreas laying in those flails. So neither team wants to get too aggressive here. Jockeying for position. Lucio is going to be back in. And now, Goat's backing onto the point. The charge from Baneling doesn't get anything. Fingers also misses. Now, Fingers actually going to come in behind them. Got knocked up onto the roof. Oh, Fingers gets stunned. Lost the Earth Shatter. Rift Tire gets nothing. But kills. Rally coming out from both sides, and it looks like the hammer from Bailing just to clean it up. So, I feel alive still on the point, but the remainder of no payload is going to drop. But look at all these ultimates starting to come online. No payload does have the graviton, they do have the self destruct. That combination can be a team wipe if they can land it. No diva on the other side to eat it. It's going to be determined. It's going to depend on whether they can get that Rhine shield out of the way. Got everything they need here. Zapfield going to throw it in. Here comes the self destruct through the back. Oh, that was going to find anything. Now so the sound barriers being used from both sides, the Valkyrie, the Biopanda, Counter Grav, Shatter, from Baneling, but the kill starting to come in, and no payload. Big Shatter from Fingers, goes for Baneling, gets him. Riptire though from Witch, it's Emulator. So four on three, Fingers gonna be able to take out Bittersteel. Not quite yet, and Aftiel does go down to Hugin. Jack, though, is uncontested here on that Farah. Yeah, the problem with running this 3 tank 3 support comp is that focus is really, really important on it because otherwise the lack of DPS heroes, like that amount of damage, really starts to be visible if you don't have proper focus. But, um, yeah, and it looks like they are switching to this far right here. 60 seconds. Pretty much one last push to go to save their season. Alright, less than a minute remaining. No ultimates yet, BBQ coming up on that Coalescence. Oh, an emulator gets taken out. Rally is going to come up from Andreas, but oh, it's going to get taken out. They're going to have to reset here. BBQ uses the Coalescence, but stunned out of it by Bitter. Yeah, they have to reset right now to get they a clean get out. But after oh, Jock drops the barrage too. Mm. Aftiel might get killed here. Aftiel is getting in. staggered right now. Oh That's no! Terrible for them. They have plenty of time to touch though. They have Lucio. They don't need to panic about touching right now. They need to give Rally. themselves. They need I'm to give themselves steal. about five seconds and then go have Lucio touch. Riptire though, coming through. Fingers is gonna get on the point. Gets a big That's shatter. Good. Gets stunned, but he gets knocked out of the way. Valkyrie, though, from Biopanda keeps everyone alive. This is about to be it. All the ults come out and Goat C9's the commanding win here on Volskaya. They look really, really good going into the playoffs. Against not a, not a bad team by any stretch of the imagination, though they look for old men. No, we had such a competitive 
match on Nepal. It went yeah. to third map, 99-99. Yeah, those C9s nice. just very strong on both sky there. Yeah, and a nice little story emerging in this tournament. Really rough 0-2 week for feeders. I guess I lied about only saying their name once. But um, really rough 0-2 week in the first week for feeders. Had a lot of roster turnover due to unforeseen circumstances. And now they're going to the playoffs. So really they cool for them. They are indeed. So just to look at the Group B standings here. Goat C9s finish at 3-0. And the world is a beautiful place, and I'm no longer afraid to feed. Going to be one and two, along with Potato Potato and No Payload, all sitting at one and two. But yep. feeders do get the three map wins, everyone else with two. Yep. So they will actually move on to the playoffs. So... That is all we have for tonight. Tomorrow night, or tomorrow afternoon, actually, at 4 Eastern. We've got My Chemical Throwmance taking on Ducks Eating Greens really fast. And the winner of that match will be going to the playoffs to face Goat C9s in the semifinals. I'm going to so own. You don't want to miss that. That's going to be a huge match. Yeah. The winner will be in the playoffs. Loser going home. Yep. So, what drama? Playoff seed left to determine. Absolutely. Goat, goat C nines and feeders off in the group B, and uh, Ban Hayes and either My Chemical Throwmats or Ducky and Greens really fast in group A. That's right. So that is going to be all for tonight. I want to thank Monocro for joining me. Of course. And so once again, tomorrow afternoon, 4 p.m., My Chemical Throw Answer, Ducks Eating Greens, final match of the group stage. So until then, I want to thank everyone for joining us, and we'll see you again tomorrow.